live, live, live from somewhere in Las Vegas. It's MagicPlace.com's Secret Warehouse Party with special appearances by Carrot Top, Lance Burton, Stu Stone, Andrew Main, Kristen Lambert, Fielding West, Houston Rockets, Omar Saman, Monty Rock III, Chris's Angels, and live performances from Nathan Burton, Benajek, Fantasy, Johnny Thompson, Devlin, Matteo Maestro from Believe, Sean Fields, Jesse Feinberg, Mark Calabrese, plus 15 brand new Magic Place July releases. A chance to win lots of free shit, including every single MagicPlace.com item in this broadcast. And how to win a fantasy trip to Vegas, including free airfare, hotel accommodations, VIP tickets to four shows, and a VIP meet and greet with each star, and so much more. Cyber World, are you ready? Here's your hosts, the biggest name in magic on the planet, and the other, the guru to the latest, hottest magic. Give it up for MagicPlace.com's very own, Chris Angel and Luke Dancy. Wow, this is amazing. Folks, welcome to MagicPlace.com Secret Warehouse Party Bash. We're here to celebrate the most amazing magic releases for the month of July and give you a chance to win every single item free. But first, you must fill out the Enter to Win Here form at MagicPlace.com as you try to win each of these amazing products in our live broadcast. Whether you're a beginner or, exper or an expert, you're about to see the most innovative, cutting edge and original magic that packs the most power in real world situations available. Absolutely, Chris. Plus, we have an insane performance by some of the biggest and brightest stars in magic and entertainment. Yeah, yeah. All live! That's right, Magic Reform Live. No other magic sites out there did to do it, but you know what? We're going to give it a shot, right? Plus, we have interviews with Lance Burt, Carrot Top, Flavor Flav, Johnny Thompson, and Chris. Uh, I think we got your mom, too. Yes, my mom's here, so I'm excited to talk to her. Yeah, yeah my mom. And there's so much more, including a World Championship Jello Wrestling match. Oh, yeah, the bet yeah. is on the line tonight. Yeah, <laughs> little maestro. It goes so far beyond yes. that. You don't want to miss the Fantasy Girls and their expose performance, too. Oh, that's hot. Oh, man, that's all hot, live, man. all Holy free, and shit. hot, hot, hot right here. And Chris, for all the skeptics out there that don't think we're live, let's prove it wrong right yeah, now. Yeah, I know it seems too good to be saying that we're live, because look at all of this. No one dares to do this, not even in the magic world or in the real world of internet Absolutely. live stream broadcasting we're doing stuff that never it's never been done and to prove it's live we have brian right over there manning our chat rooms how's it looking brian awesome sir we already have 1400 people in our stick cam chat room and 500 in what magic up, play guys? and what's our total view so far uh we're at 86 21 over the last two minutes nice. two minutes yeah baby. two minutes yeah. Now go, go ahead and, and, and type in one so you can see it's... You, show it's, your love, guys. Yeah. Let us know you're out there. That's yeah. right. That's see right. that it's live. Type in ones right now so you can see it's there live it so we can get this out of the way because a lot of people say it's not live. And that is obviously bullshit because we are 110% live. And you can say bullshit because we are on the internet. Yeah. And speaking of the internet, don't forget to get on Twitter and Facebook so all your friends are hanging out with us for the next two hours. Yeah, and I want to give some shout outs to our broadcast partners all over the world. Of course, we got SickAm.com, Andrew Mean, Robert Young at iTricks.com, The Magic Cafe, thank you so much, Steve Brooks, MagicNewsWire.com, New, TheMagicSession.com. And of course, our shop affiliates, The Merchant of Magic and Wizard Headquarters. Yeah. In the UK. And of course, ChrisAngel.com, MagicPlace.com, and MF13.com! Yeah! Well, Chris, now that we got all the details out of the way, let's go to the man that truly is live, 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 live. Stu Stone! Stone! Yeah! yeah. Oh, live, 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 live. Yes, you guys can keep making noise. Yeah, we're having a good time here. You know, a lot of people are lucky to be here live with us at the Secret Warehouse Party. But last month on Loyal Saturday, 
we asked Chris's biggest fans what is the craziest thing they would do to be here live, live, live today. Let's take a look at what happened. Hey, I just wonder what, what, what someone out there would do to be where I'm sitting right now, to hang out with you and be a part of this uh, live experience. So, so what you're trying to say, Stu, is what would it take to be on this show? Ladies and gentlemen, we have not one, not two, but three winners. Yeah! 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 And now Stu and Stu, please! Sonny, who else do? Who else do we have? You can't see. Uh, you know, right? Who do we have? Sonny? Uh, I don't have the names of. We got it. The French maid, Sonny, and Sonny's friend that said they'll do it together, right? Insane, right? There actually was one person that went above and beyond everybody else and said that they would do something crazy to get themselves here today. First of all, our good friend Luke. Everybody, make some noise for Luke. Luke has a very Luke has a very, very uh, a famous expression that he likes to use all the time. Go ahead and tell everybody what that expression is, Luke. You know what it is. We're talking about meh. Meh. Now, the expression meh, there was a young lady that was willing to get that tattooed on her in order to be here today live, and she is here, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise right now. Uh, what is your name? Sunny, everybody. Where are you from, Sunny? Germany. From Germany. My grandparents went to camp there. That's insane. Now, let me tell you something right now, Sunny. You are willing to uh, get a tattoo right now of meh. Am I right? Really pumped up. Yeah. I need, to, I need to, to clear a few legal things before we can start tattooing you. Are you over 21? Yes. I believe you. Are you drunk? Yes. I might believe you. Are you being forced to do this in any way? No. Do you understand English? No. That's a yes. I need a yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. You realize that there are risks involved in getting a tattoo live, live, live on the internet. You know that, right? So, uh, you know, you could die. Uh, so in order to uh, avoid any lawsuits, I'm going to need you to come over here and sign. Hopefully Chris's lawyers are watching. You can sign this document right now that gives us, uh, you know, full permission to tattoo meh on you today. Very good. She signed it, everybody. We're ready to go. Now, yeah! today here doing the tattooing is a world-famous tattoo artist. He's the man that does all of my work from Envy Tattoo of Las Vegas. Make some noise for Billy Carter over here. Yeah! Billy yeah! Carter is over here. Now, Billy, before we get started with the tattoo, the spelling of meh is questionable. We know there's an M and an E. How many H's are there in meh? Well, we're going to let the dice decide that today, ladies and gentlemen, because we are in Las Vegas. So what I need from you, Sonny, I need you to pick red or white. Uh, the white one. The white. Typical, right? From Germany. Here we go. Are you ready? I need you to roll the dice right now in front of everybody, and we're going to determine how many H's are getting tattooed permanently on Sonny. Go ahead and roll the dice. Yeah, on the floor. Here we go. And that's... Uh, that's... That's... Are we happy with that, everybody? Good again. Yeah, we need, to, we, need, we need a redo here. That's just not exciting enough. A five, everybody! A five! Now, you, sir, maybe you could throw a couple bonus H's in for us. That's up to you. But are you ready to get started on this tattoo? Are you guys ready to get started on this tattoo? All right, you may begin the tattooing now. And just so you people know, you don't have to get tattooed to get to Las Vegas and be a big winner like Sonny here. You really don't have to go to all that trouble. In fact, if you go to magicplace.com and click enter to win after this broadcast, you just might win the biggest prize package we've ever, ever, ever put forward. Here's Robin Leach to give you more details right now. The grand prize winner of the MagicPlace.com contest will receive the following absolutely free. Two round trip tickets for you and a guest to Las Vegas. Accommodations at Luxor Hotel and Casino. Three VIP Magic Show experiences. Helicopter ride, dinner, limos, museum, the vault and much, much more. Let's break it all down. Day one, roll out of bed and hastily pack your bags because you always wait to the last minute and you're already late for the airport. Remind your friend who you're bringing to show a little appreciation and carry your damn bags. 
two tickets to Bodies, the exhibition at the Luxor. No dead pharaohs here. Uh -huh. Just naked bodies. Two tickets to the best-selling afternoon magic show. Nathan Burton Comedy Magic at the Flamingo. VIP access naturally because you're worth it. Day two. Two tickets to David Copperfield at the MGM Grand. Plus a VIP meet and greet with him after the show. A spectacular evening helicopter tour over the Vegas Strip. Quench your thirst with a bit of the bubbly. But remember, this isn't the hangover, and your night is only just beginning. Two VIP tickets to the number one best-selling magic show in the world. Chris Angel Believe from Cirque du Soleil at the Luxor Hotel and Casino. It may be bedtime where you're from, but hey, this is Vegas, baby. And it's time for dinner at one of the best restaurants in town. Tender Steakhouse at the Luxor, hosted by Chris Angel himself. No other magic sites in the world can afford to hook you up like magicplace.com. Good luck. Thanks for playing. We hope you come back to us for all your magic needs. Really? It's all Chris Angel. Come magic, magic, magic. How about comedy? I have a show right here at the Luxor, too. I'll give you tickets, and I'll give you a mug, too. How about that? <clears throat> Top that. Are you ready? That is absolutely insane. That really is crazy. By the way... Come over here, sir. The tattoo is underway. She is starting to get <laughs> tattoo here. I know Flava Flav is somewhere. Be careful, young lady. Listen, we are about to get the magic show started. Who wants to see some live magic? Yeah! All right, well, my very good friend Luke Dancy is uh, with one of magic, uh, magicplace.com's very own creators. He is the matador of magic. He is Joe Devlin. Luke, take it away. What's shaking, guys? I'm with Joe Devlin. Yeah, buddy. I am so happy to be here, Luke. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, MagicPlace.com. I am so excited to just take a part of this. Check it. This is absolutely incredible. We're surrounded by so many great friends. And that's the wonderful thing about being here, as Stu said, that when you create magic with us, we might have you here live with us for another broadcast. Maybe you'll be Devlin next time. Who knows? You never know. Now, Devlin's the guy that takes $1 bills and turns them into hundreds. So let's check out the uh, world premiere of the Devlin Dollar right about now. What do you say, bud? I'd love to. I'd love to. Get it right now. <laughs> That guy was too hand. He looks better in person, trust me. It's all good. <laughs> so, Devlin, we've got the Devlin Dollar. The official release is here. It's been a long time coming. Something to be very, very proud of. And the cool thing, too, when you guys buy the Devlin Dollar, you actually get a free download from Sean Fields as well. Absolutely free. It's called the Ill Switch. You can check out a video of that as well. Now, the cool thing is, he's going to say something. I'm excited that Sean uh, did that. That's fantastic. It's a great free download. Now, of course, you guys want to see some live magic. But first, before we show you the good stuff, Sit there for one more second. I want to get into Devlin's head and find out how he came up with something like the Devlin Dollar. It's a, a culmination of years of uh, thinking and experience, uh, just living my life and picking up different ideas. Also, I've applied it to the Devlin Dollar so it looks like real magic. I think a magician should do real magic, and this looks absolutely effortless, and it looks like movie magic. That was my goal, to make it look like magic. Absolutely, and he did that, and he's also known as the MacGyver of Magic. The methods you come up with are ingenious. We love it. But enough talk. Let's see the good stuff. Bring it on, Devlin. Show us the Devlin dollar. We got Flavor Flav in the house, too. Check it out. Check it out. Oh. A one dollar bill to a hundred. Oh, my God. Flav, what happened? Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody. That was a that was a dollar. That, that thing had one on it. How did you end up with two zeros on there? Extra. That was a dollar bill. 
Now it's a hundred dollar bill. Can you turn it into a five? <laughs> Love it, love it, love it. Flavor Flav in the house. Love it. Yeah. I'm here at MagicPlace.com. Great, great time. Thank you. Wow. Wow is definitely the word. And, guys, you'll be able to get your hands on a copy of the Devil Dollar absolutely free coming up very, very soon. Chris will be at Lance Burton. They're both going to give you a chance to do that in just a few moments. But right now, we have an amazing performance coming to you, a live magic performance from the world's most, well, just the guy that does minimalism better than anybody else. The guy, you know who it is. Benedict! Bring it up, Benedict! Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If I was to ask everyone here, if I was to ask everyone here to think of a playing card, you might think of the Ace of Spades or the Queen of Hearts. Those are psychological. You don't want to think of those two playing cards if someone like me was to ask you to think of a card. But right now, I would like everybody here and everybody at home to think of a playing card. Get one in your mind. Let me get a few people to help me out. Now, normally, I would not have you come up on stage. I would do it right there out in the audience, but the people at home wouldn't be able to see this. So let me see who I can get. Let's come back over here where I can actually see people in the light. The gentleman right there and the gentleman right here now laughing at that gentleman. If you'll come up over here on my right, please give them a round of applause. Let's go over on this side. How about the lady there and the lady right there? Would you both come on up, please? And can I get you to move that way towards that side of the stage, gentlemen? That way, just a little bit. I need to be able to see you even a little bit further away from me. Um, ladies, if I can get you to move out that way just a little bit. You have a playing card you're thinking of? Yes. You have one, too? Yes. You have one as well? You have one as well. Now, I don't know you, ma'am. I don't know anything about you, where you live or anything. Is that right? Same with you? Yes? Same with you and same with you. I'd like all four of you just keep looking at me. And you do have a playing card in your mind because I'm not getting anything from you. Put your feet together, if you will, for me. Just put your feet together. All right. Now, this is kind of interesting. Hand going up, looking away from me, almost like you don't want me to look at you. I would say that your card, more than likely, I will get some things wrong. Your card is going to be a black card. Is that right? Okay. No, it's a red card. Okay, I will get some things wrong. I will get some things wrong. Keep looking at me. I wanted to say a spade, so if it's a red card, it has to be a heart. Is that right? Yes? Your card is definitely a black card, yes? Hands close to the body, almost like, yes. Your card is, oh, your card is also, a, it's a spade, isn't it? Yes. See how their hands are almost identical to each other, except this hand is a little bit closer in. Look at me. Um, okay, hiding your hand like that behind you. That definitely is a black card, isn't it? Your card is a black card. You're just like the gentleman. Your card's going to be a red card. Is that right? Yes? Um, I'm going to say that your card's going to be a fairly high card, a male card. Uh, more than likely, and if I'm wrong, give me one more chance. It's a spade. Um, is it the king of spades? Give the lady a round of applause, please. You may go back out. You may go back out in the audience. Thank you. Keep looking at me. I'm going to say one word, clock, like Flavor Flav's clock that he has right there. And just keep looking at me as I move back and forth. Okay, this is interesting. You're looking at me, but your body keeps coming out that way. That would be towards the eight or the n nine. I'm going to go nine. Um, nine of hearts, yes? Yes, give him a round of applause. You may go back, please. Both keep looking at me, please. Keep looking at me. Your card is a, um, it, 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 it's, it's a black card, it's a spade, it's a high card, it's a male card. Uh, leaning over just a little bit, I'm going to say that your card is the jack of spades. Yep, yep, yep. Give him a round of applause. Thank you. Looking at me. Arch, you guys can do this for yourself. You can see from that angle. As she's looking at me, her head's coming this way, but it's coming down just that way, just a little bit right there. That would be towards the three or the four. I'm going to go four of hearts, yes? Give her a round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you. In Russia, there's a lady by the name of Nina. Thank you. Thank you. In Russia, there's a lady by the name of Nina. I suppose Nina can actually read books with her fingertips. That's how it started. She was in reading with her toes and then with her knees. And I, the last I heard, Nina would take a book, put it on a chair, sit on it, and read it that way. <laughs> Guess it's what you call hindsight, I don't know. Or a smart ass. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but I thought it would be interesting to try something along those lines. And we'll have to move quickly because we've got to keep everything moving. Would you come on up, please? Give the gentleman a round of applause. Step on up here to my right. And let's go with the lady right there in the blue, if you'll come up as well, please. And I'd like you to, get, in fact, switch places. Come on over here to my left. We'll get the lady to step in front of me to my right right here. I have a few things here found in every Las Vegas bedroom, about four feet of duct tape. A um, couple of Mardi Gras coins, take a look at those. And a big hunk of steel right here. I'd like you to take a look at that. Make sure there's no holes, no gaps in there, that it's completely solid. You can even hold it up to your face if you would like. Take one of those coins, hold it up to the light. Any holes, trap doors, anything like that at all. Nothing like that. Would you hand me one of those, please? Good. By the way, do you have any money on you? 
You have some 20s. That'll be fine. It can be a 20 or 1, 100. I don't mind. I do have some duct tape here. This is actually radiator hose tape. And I use this kind of tape because I've worked a lot of big stages. And when you stand on a stage, even like today, it's very hot here. This should, in theory, stick to my face because it holds leaky radiator hoses together. I'm going to put this against my eye like this, but I'd like people at home, and even here, you can take your finger, press it against your eye, and try to open that eye. You'll find you can't do it. It's one of the weakest muscles that you have. Take your finger away when you're done. This first coin's going to get jammed into this eye socket just like that. The next piece will go over on the side just like this over here, and I want everybody in the audience to think of an object that you have on you. Shortly, and I will tell you when, but you're going to go out, you're going to collect three objects. You will bring those objects up, you will put them on my table, one, two, three, and then you will come back and stand over here. You will do this as quickly as you possibly can. Again, don't do it until I tell you to. You are going to be in charge because I will not be able to see. Few things you have to do. Make sure nobody comes up here that shouldn't be you. Up here, just you and the lovely lady. Uh, make sure I don't fall off the stage. It's not funny and it ends. Um, also, to hand me the rest of the tape. Yeah, no, not yet. Put, oh, put those in your pocket. And, and you can take a different one out because I may have seen that one, okay? Um, you're going to remove the tape like this and you're going to stick it to that finger so it hangs down like that. Step in a little bit closer, please. Remove the next piece of tape, if you will. Again, don't let it stick to itself. Can I have that coin? This is going to go here and I will see you in just a couple of minutes. This one's going to go over here. That, hand that one to me, please. On my finger. Again, next piece, please. This piece is going to go over the side like that. This is where it starts to get interesting. This one's going to go across the eye area like this. Next piece, please. This piece is going to go across the nose area like that. And I want you to press down around the nose, around the outside. Press hard. Don't worry about me. Okay, that was an eyeball. Good. No, I can't, trust me, even if, especially after you push my eye. Well, would you do the same thing around the nose, the outside, please? And I will take that, and would you go out, would you collect three objects, would you bring them up, put them on my table as quickly as you can? <laughs> Sir, yeah. would you remove any bill from your billfold or wherever it is that you keep your money, and may I have it? All right, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. There should be a man on the bill. Is the man facing you or facing away from you? Facing you now. Can you see the serial number? Yes. Look at the first number, not the first letter. Okay. Is it a two? Yes. Two? Yes. Zero? Yes. Two? Wait, what? Is it a two again? Yes. No, did you move further down? It's not two, two, zero, two, one? Yes. yes. How many numbers are left? And did the lady come back? Did she put the objects on my table? Yes. I thought I can always hear when they do that. Three numbers left? Yes. A six? Yes. A one? Yes. A four? Yes. Give the gentleman a round of applause. Yeah. Thank you very much. Ma'am, you got three objects? Take my hand. Step behind me, if you will. Sir, do you see the three objects on the table? They should be over here on the table somewhere. Do you yes. see them? Would you hand the lady any one of the three objects? I don't care which one you give her, but just give her one of the three. Hold that about six inches above my head, if you will. You have it there about six inches? Yes. Six inches, sir? Yeah, you're not sure, ma'am, I can tell. And it's not the lady's fault, guys. I always tell the women this is six inches, so yes. This object, it's a hard object, sort of circular, but long. Different colors on this, like a blue and a red. The letter T, R, zero, zero, zero P at troops. Oh, this is a, a, a big lighter with an advert for troops on it, yes? Give that back to him. Sir, handle one of the other two objects, please. And hold that about six inches above my head. Again, I may not be able to tell you what an object is. I'll try to describe. You're not trying to trick me, are you? Nope. This object is kind of soft and hard at the same time. Yes. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> Leather. Black. Yes. Stitching coming. Oh, I think this is a case of some kind, like a case for maybe a cell phone or something. I'm not sure. I know that's yes. close. <laughs> that is it. Yeah. Okay. Do me a favor, real quick, man. Get all three objects in your hand. We don't have much time for this, so the three people that gave the objects, raise your hand, move to the front of the stage. You're going to take all three back. The two objects that I already did, they can put those away. The one that I did not do, I want them to hold it either in their hands in front of them like this or behind their back like this, all right? So if you'll take those back and then stand by that person, if you will, so I'd be able to locate them shortly. Give the lady a round of applause. Thank you. Come in close. Take that. And if you look, still tight around the nose, tight around the outside. This is going to be the hardest part. Can you get that coin? Yes. Go ahead. I don't want to pull your eye out. No, it's all right. I'll take that. 
Get this coin, please. Okay. Grab that. Don't pull. Let me pull away from you, or you will rip the skin. Give the gentleman a round of applause. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Let me go back. Thank you. All right. So where's the one person? Where is that one person? Right up front. So you have an object hidden behind your back. Look at me, please. Concentrate on it. What it feels like. Um, uh, it's hard, yes. But I'm getting different types of hardness. Almost like something smooth and something a little bit more lumpy. Um, I'm getting the color brown. That makes sense to you, yes. And also a darker kind of a, oh, there's some glass or, or, or plastic glass because you can see through this, yes. Um, something shiny, like little studs or something like that. No, yes, and you're feeling that, as I said that, weren't you, at that moment, yes? Um, oh, this is a pair, of, you don't need these indoors, do you? Because this is a pair of sunglasses for outside. Give the lady a round of applause. My name is Banachek. Thank you very much. Banachek! So, thank you. Wow, right? Lance. He should go and talk to James Randi for five hundred million dollars. He's that good. He actually works with James Randi oh. and is the one proponent proving that well, people that claim to have the supernatural ability don't. He hasn't found anybody yet for that million bucks. So, so he's on his line. He yeah. win the million dollars. <laughs> he should win. I say we should win the million dollars. You know, fifty-fifty. Fanacek is great. He's probably the best mentalist in the world and I'm very proud to call him a friend. He's worked on so many specials with me, uh, with Mind Freak and other projects. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I hear a uh, rumor going around you were working with him on some new projects. Lance, we can't talk about that, all right? But what I can tell you folks is we're going to show you the world premiere, a sneak peek of one. And right now, I'm going to give away a copy of the brand new Devil and Dollar. Go to Facebook.com slash The Magic Place and like the Devil and Dollar trailer, and one of you will win. We're also going to give away every single item in the show tonight for free. That's right, free. Every single item. All you have to do is fill out the Enter to Win form on the front page of MagicPlace.com, and we'll announce the grand prize winner at the end of the show. But you've got to be in it to win it. Yeah, boy. Uh, oh, are you Flavor Flav? Yeah. Flavor Flav! You got some kind yeah. of in here. Flavor, come here, man. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this works out here. Wait, I got to get my hat on here. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at that. We got Flavor Flav. We got, we got Lance Burton. Yeah. 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 And it's heating up here. Stu, what's going on over there at the poker table? Yo, let me tell you what's going on. Before we get to that, Chris, we, I want to give a little update here. Look at this tattoo. It's going pretty good so far. So far, I see, I don't remember bargaining for that. We're waiting for the actual meh to begin. I will keep you posted. But I want to say a very dear friend that is near and dear to my heart, Mr. Fielding West is here, ladies and gentlemen. Fielding West, how you doing, sir? Uh... This is my buddy Bob the Bird. Look, watch this. Hold your hand out. Watch this. Bob giving five. There you go. I guess. Hey, can we uh, can we lose the bird? You want to lose the bird? Uh, I, I can do it. I can do. I can lose the bird kind of like this if you like. Just give it. <laughs> not what I had in mind. Is that, is that not it? Oh. Let, let me put this back on here. Let's go back to this. Is that good? Yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> my God, Fielding West, ladies and gentlemen. Now. I understand, sir. Who knew? Who knew? I, I understand, sir. That uh, what you, you want to do a quick magic trick for us? Well, I, just, I was reading about. I think it's, I don't know if this article is about you or if it's about uh, Chris. But the Inquirer, probably Chris. It's the Inquirer. It is. It's probably Chris in here. But I got to show this to you because we don't get to do this on television as much as we'd like to do. But watch the paper here because you're standing right behind me, and I want to show you the real secret of tearing one of these papers up and magically making it go back together. Would you like to learn? I would love to. Well, I want you to watch this. I'm going to do it very slowly for you now. And I'm going to be very deliberate with all these pieces and show everybody what we're dealing with here. I'll give it one more little tear. Our poor Mary Kate Olsen getting ripped up. <laughs> she can't afford to get much smaller, can she? <laughs> there you go. Now watch this. Here's where the real work comes in right here. Now when I tear this, I learned this many, many years ago from a European magician. Just between you and I, I think quite possibly this guy might have been French. 
just by the way he performed his magic. But nonetheless, we don't need that. It's the kind of stuff I like to perform maybe once, twice a night. You know why that is? I found most people wow. really enjoy good magic if it is performed really well. Did you like that? That, that was pretty good. Now, I understand, sir, that uh, you have been working on your poker game. You know, the World Series of Poker happens in Vegas. You've been working on your game. I'm going to do the World Series of Strip Poker right here tonight, right at this table. Uh, we have uh, some, some women coming in who are professional ringers. Okay, these girls are known for their poker playing skills. They're very good with their hands, I understand. I might have to take my clothes off. Uh, we're going to have this man. Who wants to see him make it tonight? No, they don't, but they might have to. They might not have a choice. You're going to be playing strip poker here, live on the show. You got it. Wow, I'm sort of looking forward to that. i got to be honest. I've always been a big fan of yours. Well, everybody has to have a hobby, and that's where I stand. So, well, I appreciate the fact that you taught us how to uh, rip the paper, but, uh, you know, Chris has been talking about teaching people magic today. He told us in the meeting before he was going to teach some tricks today. In fact, he is with the legend Johnny Thompson right now and the Fantasy Girls. He's going to teach us a trick. Oh, Chris. Yeah, I am with the legend. The living legend Johnny Thompson right over here. And I got to tell you, I am honored and humbled to be standing next to you, Johnny. You're an amazingly talented, respected magician who has been performing for how many years? Well, if I admit to this, you won't believe it, but I've been doing magic for over 60, over 68 years. 68 years! Yeah. And he is the most respected general practitioner in the art of magic. He's the go-to guy for people like myself, David Blaine, um, Penn and Teller, and uh, I'm so blessed to know Johnny, his beautiful wife, Pam. They've been so kind to me. They've helped me throughout the course of my career before. You know, people were like, Chris Angel who? And Johnny was there to believe in me. Absolutely. We've had a great time together. Now, Johnny, we have a lot of people out there that are watching right now all over the world that may be a magic enthusiast, that might be doing magic right now, but what kind of advice can you give them? Well, I think the most important thing about magic is to learn the effect and then practice, practice, practice. And then perform it for free. <laughs> well, yes, like I'm doing today. <laughs> exactly! You see how we work together? I feed him the joke and he fucking punches it! Punch! Punch! Right there. So, we're going to give you the opportunity right now to learn an amazing mind trick, an amazing magic trick that normally we charge, but at magicplace.com, because this is just so awesome, with with the legend, we're going to give you the opportunity to learn it for free after this broadcast. I'll give you more details about that, but we are talking black sheep, ladies. Do you like black sheep? <laughs> Come on, Johnny, take us through black sheep. Come in nice and close, ladies, and uh, I'm going to show you this regulation pack of playing cards. You can see they're all different. And what I would like you to do, what is your name? Sheila. Sheila, would you mind just pulling any card at all? You can inspect them for a moment, but pull, that's the one card you want. All right, Sheila, you did see they're all different. Am I correct? Yes. All right, watch very, very carefully, because this is the one card you selected, and... Uh, you're going to be very surprised. But that's the only red card in this pack because, believe it or not, this is one of the new Chris Angel packs and you can see all the rest are absolutely... Baroque deck! The only one that's red. Thank you. Do we, wait a second, wait a second. That is too damn good to give for free. Flavor Flav is tripping right over here. What do you think, Flav? I never took gymnastics, but I'm flipping. And, and check it out, Johnny Thompson is a master magician, but you can master this very, very easy. If you go to magicplace.com after this broadcast and download the secret to Black Sheep but just by just clicking free Black Sheep download. That is free Black Sheep download at magicplace.com. It's at the bottom of the page. Chris, I, I understand where you, we're going to see one of your new favorite releases. It's actually one of my new favorite releases. 
You talking about Connecticut? Absolutely. Connecticut is amazing, okay? And Johnny, there's three brilliant kinetic effects from the mastermind of Sean Fields. I set the standards very high. If I wouldn't perform it on TV, then we're not going to put it out there like other magic websites do. It's only the best stuff at magicplace.com. Check out the trailer now. Oh man, Sean Fields, that is Connecticut. What do you guys think? What do you think? Wow, man. Wow. He's even sexier in person, too, I swear. I swear. So, Sean, that is uh, one of the three effects, as Chris mentioned, on Connecticut. And uh, tell us a little bit of the inspiration behind the whole Connecticut project, because it's a hell of a project. Well, the whole idea behind Connecticut is, you know me, I like to make my magic look as real as possible. and. You can ask Banachek, people like to believe in psychic powers, so that was kind of the, the idea behind this project, you know, make things move with psychic power. As Chris likes to say, blurring the line between reality and illusion, and I think you've captured that pretty well, my friend. Thank you very much, thank you. Yeah, boy, and check it out, he's got this brand new Connecticut release right here, guys. That's right, three effects, the gimmicks are included, it's a very easy thing to pick up and start doing a little bit of practice and you'll be killing people in no time. But we want to see another one of the effects from the DVD. We want to check out the kinetic coin. What do you think about that? I love this trick, and I hope you guys will like it, too. It's very, very cool. Guys, don't forget, before we go to that clip, you can also let us know what kind of questions you have on our Twitter page, Magic Lift here. We'll answer your questions live. I'll be with Brian in a few minutes, and we're also going to give away another copy of something, Kinetica. All you need to do is, on Twitter, type in the hashtag, Kinetica. That's right, hold it up, Kinetica. Type that in. The hashtag Kinetica, and you have a chance to win a free copy, and we'll give that away very, very soon. Speaking of giveaways, David Jowers, you're watching live. You just won a free copy of the Devil Dollars. So give it up, guys, for David Jowers. One of our live viewers at home just won a copy of the Devil Dollar. That's very, very cool. Enough chit chat. Let's go to the Kinetic Coin. Metal bending demonstrations are among the most powerful possible in all of telekinesis. Imagine borrowing a coin from an audience member laying it on your palm and then with nothing more than a gentle touch of your fingertip causing that coin to begin to warp and distort and bend forever leaving the coin in an altered configuration there's nothing to hide there's nothing to see this is the Kinetic Coin. All right, guys, that is another one of the crazy effects right there on the Kinetica project. I love this stuff, man. It is so, it's what magic should look like. I, I agree, and that's why, that's why I create magic this way. Thank you very much, though. It means a lot coming from you, bro. Oh, thanks, bud. Well, we also have a lot of people out there on our Twitter page and the Facebook page blowing it up. Of course, in the chat room, too. Let's hop back over to the chat room. Give the guys some love, too. We want you guys to know that we are live because that's what this is all about. We got people out there. Don't forget, you can hashtag Connecticut. There's some few people there. Keep doing that, guys, and one lucky person will be chosen in just a few minutes to win a free copy of Connecticut. And of course, let's jump back over to the chat room real quick. Brian, let's check out that. We want you guys to see that we are out there watching you too. There I am. All right, and we have got the chat room going. Chris Smear knows. Let's see you out there. Uh, Brian, uh, Anna, uh, see all you guys keeping it funky. That's what we're doing here. And guys, we're about to get really, really funky right now with the one and only Mr. Live, Live, Live. We're going to go back right now to Stu Stone. Right now, guys, here we go. Back on Stu Stone. I love All the right, Mr. Tolling by the way. I want to remind you once again, we are doing contests. They've been telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. We're giving away stuff. We are giving away stuff. Yeah. Are you here to make an ass of yourself, Carrot Top? Yeah, I did. I got a tattoo while, while we were waiting. I want to show Oh, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's the matter with you? 
another one. No, I <laughs> oh, no. Well, actually, it's fitting that you would show uh, some skin like that because uh, your buddy, where's he at? Fielding, where are you at, man? We're ready to start some strip poker over here. He's already stripped. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, you're more than welcome to, to join the strip poker over there, Carrot Top. Um, we've got a couple girls here. These girls have actually participated in World Series poker events. They're a professional poker players. What is your name? My name is Jackie. Her name is Jackie, everybody. Jackie! Camera right there, Jackie. And your name? Jackie. Well, that's going to be easy to remember. Jackie and Jackie, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we can pronounce one Jackie. 227, big fan. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to play some strip poker. Do you understand uh, that this man right here is going to deal the cards? Carrot Top, you can kind of oversee this and make sure that the girls are getting naked if they lose and if Fielding loses, etc., etc. You can start dealing out the hands if you want. Uh, they're going to play some poker. While the poker is going on, let's not forget that Sonny, one of Chris's biggest loyals, one of his biggest fans who flew here from Germany, Clarence Obama, if I get you to come over here, she's getting a tattoo. Wow! Oh, man. Let's check in. Right now, it says, uh, it says me. With a, this actually is really cool. <laughs> I might get one of those tattoos. Uh, it's going very well, needless to say. Uh, we've got celebrities. We've got the, the two sexy Jackies here. And, uh, well, speaking of uh, sexy people, Chris is right now standing by with one of the sexiest ladies here, his mother. Chris, take it. Yeah, I'm with my beautiful mother. Come here, Mama. Come have a seat with me right here. Ladies and gentlemen all over the world and friends joining us live right here. This is the reason why I've been so blessed to be here because of this woman. 77 and a half years young. Doesn't look a day over 60. And I just love her to death, Mom. I haven't seen her in some time. Thank you for coming out to Vegas, Mom. Are you having a nice time with everybody here? Absolutely. Thank you very much for coming. Just, just <laughs> see me. Just to see me, not Chris. Yeah. Now, let me ask you something, Mom, because we have a lot of kids that are watching us right now that want to pursue magic, or they have a dream that maybe is not magic, but it's something in life that they want to achieve that seems impossible, like it did for me many of those days and nights when I was crying because I couldn't get the break that I wanted to, and it took me 18 years to become overnight success. What advice would you give everybody as a mother? What would you tell them right now? Just follow your dream. That's all and have support from your mom and dad. That's wow. the main thing. Nothing else matters. And be good <laughs> and pray to God your dream will come true like Christopher did. And he did. Thank yeah. you. That's true. That's a great advice. Because you never know. You know, a lot of people think that it's going to happen when you want it to happen. But trust me, I thought it was going to happen for me a long, long time ago, and it didn't. And my mom said it wasn't the right time for it to happen. So it's not going to happen when you want it to happen. It's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. And that takes hard work, perseverance, stick to itiveness, and never listen to negativity because it breeds nothing positive. And any, anybody that works so hard with but he never gave up on his dream. And look around now, Ma. Look at this. Isn't this crazy? Yes. Isn't this crazy? Yes. We are, but. we are, out of, out of people that are out there and have magic websites, I don't mean to boast, but it's really a tribute to all of the people, all of my friends, all of the people that believe in me and the vision that have made this possible to do something that has never been done before online. No magic website can offer this to you. We're doing things that are completely different, and it's because of belief in our dreams. And if you believe in your dreams, you can make it come true as well. That's right. Yes. So, Mom, I have some other really important people as well that we're going to be interviewing. You remember Banachek, right? So, Banachek, yeah, come on. Can I steal that microphone? Give me a kiss, Mom. I love you. I'll see you at the show tonight. And by the way, Banachek, we're sold out again tonight. Yes, we are. And let, me, and let me tell you something. Vanacek is such a talented guy, and he works his ass off. Talk about work and talk about believing. He is somebody that's out there who just perseveres and fights through all of the negativity to really achieve being 
the number one mentalist in the world. Hands down, no one competes with Banachek. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Chris. I love yeah, you, Yeah, and man. congratulations. Yeah, Benny! You know, I, I, congratulations I, on working with Randy, yeah. somebody that inspired us as a kid. We now actually you're have running this up. week, we have right uh, Sunday, I'm going to be testing uh, a psychic for the million dollars. Yeah, yeah. psychic yeah. million dollars. Okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I want to okay. say something, though. I do want to say one thing. You always talk about like other people, you know, working their butts off like me, but I know people don't realize it. They think you are like an overnight sensation. <laughs> you years. work your ass off in the early days. I mean, yeah. really, to get where you are, and you deserve everything you've got. Thank no, you I so mean much. That. Thank you, you so that. much. Well, you know, the people that talk trash like that are people that not do that don't do this professionally. I mean, you just gotta believe in yourself. You gotta stay positive and, and live your dream and just be the best you can be. And if you do that, everything else falls into place. Uh, I agree. And I'm looking so forward, Vanichik. I miss you, man. I, miss I you am too. looking so I miss forward you too. to work on so many of the exciting things that we're talking about, that we're gonna talk about. Well if this is any indication of what you're doing, I want in. You're in, baby, <laughs> you're in! Vanichick, everybody! God bless you, yeah. man! We Thank got you. next! We got next! We got Mr. Flavor Flav and Flavor Flav's dad right over here! <laughs> Sit down, Flav's dad! No, I'm tasteless taste. <laughs> tasteless taste! And we got uh, Lance Burton over here, of course, Johnny Thompson, the living legend. And over here, we'll get to him in a second. I want to talk to you guys about some magic, okay? I recognize one of these girls up here behind me. Yeah, I'm sure you recognize all of them, Lance. Oh, you know, <laughs> at the end, at the end there, that's Montice, and she used to be in my show. She was my assistant. She was a six-pack. She was a six-pack. She used to disappear every night. Yes. There she is right there. Yes. Yeah. We got the hottest girls in Las Vegas. Of course, this is, by the way, Chris's Angels. A little homage to Charlie's Angels, but hotter, of course. <laughs> now, Johnny, we got so many people watching from the magic community, which I have embraced. I love the art of magic. I want to lift the art of magic. I want to lift all the magicians out there up. What, what, what do you want to say to them right now that are watching all over the world? Well, I think you're having a wonderful opportunity here to, to see this, this wonderful party we're having. And... It's a great introduction to all of the products that you can get on Chris's network, and I think you're providing uh, the magic community, especially those freshly getting into magic, with some wonderful material and opportunities. Yes, we have something for the beginner, something for the most advanced, Mr. Fire at MagicPlease.com, and there's so much coming out. We're so excited. Now, Lance, again, is hitting on the girls. <laughs> this is a typical day with Lance Burton hitting on all the girls because he thinks that he knows what time it is. I was not hitting on the girls. I just wanted now to you say hello. Now, you simply passing out your number Montice to your Montice was introducing castle. me to the girls. I was just welcoming them here to the magic place. Yes. That's what you always say. Yes. Lance, what's going on? We're talking about a new movie coming out from you. Uh, we're, we're still shooting. We're almost done. We're over 90% through of our uh, uh, principal photography. Principal photography. Yes. Uh, Billy Toppett, master magician, and uh, we're hoping to. I'm wrap hoping it up that we soon. can do we can do a big party for it right, right here. here. Oh, cool. We can do some crazy party for Lance's movie. What do you say, huh? And of course, the party will be free, like everything else we do here at Magic Place. Because I don't need the money. I just want to have fun with my friends, and that's what this is all about. Cool. Thanks for inviting us. Yeah, here. no problem. It's great. Now I see that we have the original, the man that is the hype man, Flavor Flav. Come on in, Flav. Let's talk to Flav. All right, Flav. Let's go over here. Come on in, Flavor. Now, Flav, you just Flav, pick up your mic. You just got back from a big tour. Tell us about what's going on. I so appreciate you being so supportive of everything that we're doing, and you're such a great guy. Tell us about what's going on. We just got back from tour, right? Yeah, right now I just came back from Poland and Slovakia and Brisbane and... 
I, I could tell, Flav, you smell like cabbage. Hey, <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, but you know what? I love that smell because cabbage is green, and I love money. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Flip. So yeah, tell us what's going on, man. All the exciting things going on, Flip. Yeah, but right now, uh, you know, me and my partner, Chuck D, Public Enemy, we've been in a... Yo, what's we, up, Public Enemy? Yeah, we've been in... <laughs> yeah, we've been in the game now, like, 26 years. We just recorded two more albums and everything. Also, I got another solo project coming as well and everything you know and um right, now i did something with ludicrous i expect to do something with you hey yo no doubt man and not only that but you know what though on my solo album i got a chris angel joint all you right, don't know man, about I, I, all right i'm down man whatever you need so ludicrous ludicrous ain't the only one that can write about you Holmes. all right well hey and not only that but i live closer to you than ludicrous that's true and, that's Chris, and ludicrous is one of my most favorite rappers he's of awesome. all time he's yeah, awesome man. come on man he's nobody awesome. beats out ludicrous Flavor Flav, give it up for Flavor Flav. Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, we have the funniest guy in all of Las Vegas, if not the world. You know, there's a lot of shit said to about him from other comedians, but you know what? They're just freaking jealous because he's making bank. That's and he right. is the funniest guy out there. That's right. And if you haven't seen him when you come to Las Vegas, go to Luxor and see my boy, Karen Top. Right on the yeah, That's up, right. Baby. Anybody, anybody that got something to say about Carrot Top, I will put my foot in your mouth. <laughs> Have a seat, right <laughs> Have a seat, Carrot Top. Yo, Have take my mic. It's like a weird episode of Hee Haw. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> and we Wait have up, the girls. Hold the on, <laughs> hold on your wallet. Flavor Flav's next to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 we need, so, 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 Karen. We need Banachek next TP, to you. Are you yes. and Banachek talking like, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? 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 <laughs> so, tell us. Uh, y you have an amazing show. It's always sold out yes. over at the Luxor. It's smaller than yours. So we're always sold no, out. but you're, you have a seriously. I know you joke around, but in all honesty, he is the funniest guy in Las Vegas, hands down. Pay I've attention. Seen I'm show. talking. Come Haven't on. you seen the show? It's crazy. Hey, yo, I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. Hey, yo, yeah. can I tell you something? Yeah, I sure. just don't want you to roast me anymore because I'll get even darker and then I don't show up on the camera. Nice, nice. <laughs> that was the best joke on the show. How do you roast a guy that's already charcoal? That's our, that now, was our joke. Now, let me ask you something. You do smell like cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you something. CT, CT. He smells like fucking cabbage. That's weird. <laughs> Men smell bad. It smells good. Now, let me ask you something, CT. <laughs> you share the stage. A little bit like weed, too. A little weed, a little cabbage. <laughs> hey, I got some. Yeah, let's go. No, night. Come on, guys. Your mom's here for guys. We don't Yes, smoke. my mom will smoke up with you 77 and a half years old. No. Hey, I'm hey, just hey, kidding, hey, mom. Hey, if me and you smoke That's a joint, man, that might be no. the top <laughs> off of your carry. No. Now, listen. Real quick, okay? I want to ask you something seriously. You share the stage Fantasy. with fantasy. Yes, I do. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you share the dressing room as well? No, that's the only downside. We do not. We pass each other in the hallways. Do you ever see them, like, naked walking past? They see me naked, too. It's not pretty. Yeah, but I'm sure I'm naked. asking if you see them. I'm I not see them naked. You see yeah. me naked. God. No. Oh. You've seen, you've seen my, no, my Chris Angel seen. tattoo right there in my butt. <laughs> How much now, we go back? Now, now let me <laughs> ask you. Let me ask you something, honestly. Yeah, I'm sorry. Now you're, 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 like, what does it feel like, man? You've been in Vegas. You've been performing. You're like touring. You, you've toured. You're in Vegas now, headlining for years and years and years. Yeah. I'm only four years into it. What's it like? What, what does it feel like to be so successful? Did you ever dream that it would be like this? I never thought I would do this even for a year. I had no idea that I'd be coming to Vegas. I, I, I found my friend that I lost on Star Search is actually playing in town. So we've been going back and forth all weekend. How funny it is that I got beat on Star Search. But, uh, and yeah, and it's you're great kicking game. everybody's ass. Well, it's but great let, to let have ask, a show. Let me just ask you one, one quick question. Okay, sure. now we're going to go to Stu Stone. i got to ask you something. I started in Vegas when Johnny Thompson was 12. That's how long <laughs> I've been here. <laughs> Now let me ask you something, Close behind and, you. and if you don't want to talk about this, we don't, but there's a, another comedian that was out there many, many years ago, he used to throw confetti and stuff like that, oh, can you tell us, <laughs> yeah, can you tell us the funny story that you told me that happened when you went out to like a fast food place and you met him? Oh yeah. Can you I tell was, everybody that's a uh, great story? Yeah, Go sure, ahead. I was in a Kookaroo's chicken, sorry, it wasn't Flavor Flav's best chicken it place, my fault. It my but fault. it was a Kookaroo's chicken, and I walked in, I saw a guy, and he came over to me and he said, you took my fucking ass. And I'm like, who are you? I have no idea. He said, I'm Rick Taylor, and you took my axe. Did he have the wig on or off? No, he had no wig. Yeah, no hair. No okay. hair. And I said, I didn't take your axe. I, my part, I thought he was dead. I really did think he was dead. <laughs> I thought that you were dead, and that didn't go over well. And then I, he, he went on like some comedy show and said I took his axe. So the next night, we went on stage, and I came out throwing confetti. 
and the whole crowd went nuts. And I said, see, I didn't take your fucking act. It was a completely <laughs> different thing. And uh, yeah, we made up now. We're good friends. Good. Okay. No, I have not seen Rip Taylor in years. Oh, yeah. Know. Well, the funny thing about Cowboy Every Cop, pop comic hates me. Well, no, Gallagher. this is the thing. A lot of people think that he's just a prop comic. He's not. He does a lot of stuff in the show of just stand-up stuff, and it's really, really funny as hell. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Come see it. Well, I will. I've seen it like hotel. 14 times. How many, how many times have you seen my show? I've seen your show as many times. <laughs> yes. Yes. I see your car every night. We park next to your car. Yeah, my you car scratch is very, my roll. My car is very scared of your All right. car. Now, let me ask Flavor Flav something. Hold That's on a, a second. Flav, 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 you're in the chicken business. Did you ever consider being in the jello business? Hey, honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm already in the jello business because the jello is full of flavor, baby. There you go. Uh, there you Talking go. about flavor, Take that. flavor jello. Hey. You're coming That's to good. Two Stone right now with the championship jello match. Yes, folks, we are live, live, live. It is time for some jello wrestling action. Now, before we get started, flavor, flavor, carrot top safety meeting after the show. Let's talk about some jello wrestling. We've got some jello. Bill Cosby would be proud of how much jello we have in here. Make some noise for the jello, everybody. Because what's about to happen live on this program, on this live broadcast, is that a man so menacing is going to defend the world jello championship. It's going to be insane. Now, when you work with Chris Angel, you got to wear a lot of hats. I have to wear a lot of shirts. This is my third refereeing gig since starting to hang out with Chris Angel. And you know, the Las Vegas uh, Athletic Commission is very proud of me for all of the progress I have made. Progress, if you're watching in Canada. We have our Jello champion ready to come out here. Are you guys ready? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this man, he had to hop fences and do a lot of swimming to get here. He stands at five feet. One inch, he is the Mexican Jello champion. He is Mateo the Marauder. <laughs> Mateo the Marauder. <laughs> Mateo, everybody! Mateo, wow, looking good, man. I am the champion! He brought uh, Babar the elephant with him, uncircumcised, folks. There's that elephant's trunk right there. He's got the championship title. Mateo, are you ready to meet your challenger? Of course, I, 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 I can't wait. I wanna, I wanna... All right, let, let's bring you over here, Mateo, the champion, of course, looking on the... Look at this guy. Uh, let's bring out his, uh, his opponent. Make some noise for his opponent, everybody. Here she comes. Come on out. Wow. You're, you look... Uh, you, great. Very easy. You're saying she's very easy? Yeah, it's very easy. I, 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 I... Ah. Ah. Uh, what is your name? Um, actually, I'm just looking for the restroom. Oh. The restroom is that way. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh. I, guess, I guess that's not... That's not her! Oh. Are you guys ready to meet his real opponent? Ladies and gentlemen, she stands at six foot five! She weighs over 300 rock star pounds! She is Miss Genocide! Yeah. All right, if I could have you two, if I could have you two get get here in the middle. You guys understand the rules. We went over the rules. She's not my weight. She's not my weight. Uh, this is a catch catch weight competition. All right. Now I, 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 we we spoke about the rules earlier. You guys understand. I'm going to be very strict with the rules here. But the winner is going to be crowned the new Jello champion. You know, for all the people watching right now at home, you want to do the uh, the typical you know uh, uh, stare down. Go ahead, go ahead. Get get your little pre match. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 hold on, Mateo, hold on a minute. All right, we're going to count down from five, four, and ring the bell, let's do this!
trying to get out of here. Genocide's got him. Oh, she's motorboat! Motorboat! Watch out! Motorboat! Is that a possible pit of combination? Terry, you doing okay here? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! You give up? You want to give up? He wants to give up, ladies and gentlemen. Genocide, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Jello Wrestling Champion. Was it difficult taking on uh, somebody like the former champ, Mateo? No. No, well, she's... Quick with the words there. Mateo, anything you want to say or do here? No, she's the, she's the, the champion. What are you doing? You're not, you, you're out of belief. That's it. <laughs> Mateo, you okay, buddy? What? He's what? just, he's just joking with you. Do you, do you have something you want to say? No, she's the champion. Uh, that's it. I wait till next year. Uh, nothing. Want to shake her hand like a good sport? All right, guys, good sportsmanship here. Good sportsmanship here. Wow, look at this. He's pulling a Mark Calabrese. Uh, I don't know what else to say, folks. That was pretty crazy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to go right now uh, to uh, two of my good buddies. They are Magic Place's own Luke and Mark, everybody. What's shaking, guys? Oh, nah, nah, nah. My name is Luke Dancy, and I am joined with Mark Albrecht and, well, a very nice view. My girlfriend. All right, all right. Ex -girlfriend. Your, girl, your ex girlfriend. Your ex girlfriend. Right, right. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, by the way, before we get into the uh, Baroque stuff that we got going on, I want to announce the winner for Connecticut, our Twitter contest. You guys did the hashtag Connecticut. Our winner is Gwen. On Twitter, your, has your name is at Magic Assistant. Gwen, we met at IMX. You are the winner of Connecticut. Congratulations to Gwen! Gwen! Gwen. Yeah! <laughs> And also, we have a lot of other great giveaways coming up. And don't forget about the expose performance from Fantasy coming a little bit later. Woo! Oh, it's going to be wait. incredible. We can't wait. I look at Mark. Look, he can't. Oh, he, no, I can't. He can't wait. He can't wait. Can we do it now? Let's do it now. No, we have to wait. Because you know what? Magic Place is all about doing what no one else can do. And here's another example of that. The chance to win a piece of magic history, a moment in time that will never be recreated. So insanely rare, this collector's, this collector's piece is impossible to put a value on. We're offering one uncut Baroque sheet, great edition, hand signed by every magician and celebrity guest here tonight. That includes Chris Angel, Lance Burton, Johnny Thompson, Bannon Mark Albers, Mark Flavor Mark <laughs> Mark Top, and on and on and Mark, Mark Albers too. Yeah. Look, I really want that, even though, I mean, there's so many guys signing it. I just want us for the Flavor Flav signature alone. Flavor Flav. Uh, yeah. It comes with free rocks, right? Yeah? Yeah. Yes, yes. Guys, don't forget the way you can win that. You need to go to the front place of magicplace.com and fill in the enter to win form. It's very, very easy, and more, more importantly, it's absolutely free. So let's enter right now. Let's take a let's take a look at the trailer for uh, the Brook deck and some dancing. Do it, do it. Do it, the Sean Field.
yeah, you guys saw the Baroque cards and the Feezy, that's the Sean Field dance. I did my little number, the little dancey thing there, there you go. Let's do glancy. That's man, 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 man. We'll get back to the tattoo stuff in just a minute, guys. First of all, we have the brand new Baroque deck of cards, Mark. I know you've fallen in love with these cards. I have, that's all I use. All yes. I use. They're very, all very time. nice. And two lucky viewers right now in the chat room, so do us a favor. Head over to the MagicPlace.com chat room right now, watching live. Mark and I are both going to choose a card from our Baroque deck. We're going to each hold up a card. So we'll come back to us real quick. I'm going to remove the card. I'll just do the top card. I'll make it easy. And Mark's also going to take a card from the deck. And we're going to let one person that can choose both of our cards, they're both going to win a free deck. So we'll start with Mark. So uh, Mark, hold your card right by the chat room. Don't let them see what the card is. Let's see what the guys in the room say. Everyone start to type in the name of a card. And when we know the card is up, we'll tell you who the winner is. So guys, start typing the name of cards in there. And we'll see the first person. Uh, let's see, we got a lot of people. There it is, there it is. The, uh, wow, that's going way too fast. All right, so we do have a winner for Mark. Uh, I saw it in there somewhere. It's, this is going way, way, way fast. It's a good problem to have. There's so many of you out there watching. We, we got to love that. All right, so we got a winner out there. We'll get the name oh, of that oh, one. Jennifer Silva. Jennifer, Jennifer Silva, Silva, congratulations. Silva. You won the Mark Calabrese deck. I don't know if you want that one. <laughs> I've got a card as well. I'm going to place this card right down onto the uh, computer right here. My card goes right here. Let me, you see, guys, let me see it. Let me see what it is. I don't even know what it is. There it is. You got beautiful, the mark. All beautiful. right. Another card, guys. So let's go back to the chat room right now. The next person that can name the card is going to win the next deck of cards. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And dun, 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 dun. wow, you guys are killing it out there. This is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Do you see a winner yet, Mark? No, I you don't see, see a winner yet. I don't know how to read, but that's okay. What? <laughs> wow, you guys are killing it, man. <laughs> wow, keep it going, keep it going. Do you see it yet, Mark? Do you see I it? don't see it. Oh, I stopped! You got it, you got, Go it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Saw it? It's All someone one. Right. Someone we have won a that winner. One. We can't we're announce gonna, it. We're gonna we do have a winner. Yeah. So congratulations to you guys. And don't forget, Nathan Burton's coming up in just a few moments. We also have a live performance with and a lot more fun stuff coming up. But right now, we're going back to live, live, live with Stu Stone and some strip poker. Stu we are still live, live, live. I am Stu Stone. I want to remind if you guys miss any of the excitement in action, there will be an encore presentation tonight, right where you're watching this. You can watch all of it unfold again. And don't forget, the live action continues after the party with Next, the live show. Yeah, Next. It's going to be uh, coming on after this show, but uh, let's let's remember uh, lovely Sunny from Germany here. Uh, Sunny's been getting a tattoo here. She won uh, the opportunity to be here and get this tattoo done by Billy Carter of Envy Tattoos in Las Vegas. Check it out, Billy. Have you ever tattooed meh before on somebody? Can't say that I have. He cannot say that he has it the first time for everything. And uh, you, are you having a good time? It looks a little painful. Uh, does it hurt to get a tattoo there? No, it's fine. It doesn't hurt at all? No. You're into pain, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I love it. You love pain? <laughs> yeah. Mateo, you hear that? Are you good? Yeah. You're having fun? Yeah. Wanna say hello to anybody watching you get tattooed live right now? Loyal family. Fuck. Any shout outs? Yeah, Loyal Longs 82, love you baby. She loves you baby. And of course, uh, you know, we, <laughs> we said that our buddy here was going to be playing some strip poker. Uh, check out what's going on here. At yeah, I can't it. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. It's coming off, yeah. guys. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Hold on a minute. What's going on here? You're not doing very well. No, not at all. Not that I'm complaining. What, uh, what hand did you just beat her with? I beat her with a full house. A full house, check that out. There's something Copperfield hasn't seen in years. A full house. Oh! How about that? We're playing some, we're playing some strip poker over here. It's going very well. Uh, but we're ready to do some more live magic. If I'm understanding here, are we ready to do some more live magic? We are. Are you guys ready to see some more live magic? You know, you to uh, do a better job and beat them a little bit faster. I'm getting a little impatient here. Trust me, it's coming, buddy. Uh, oh, it is. That's what I said. <laughs> All right, guys. Are you ready to see some live magic? Come on. Come on, guys. Ladies yeah! and gentlemen, he has the number one afternoon show in all of Las Vegas. 
at the Flamingo you can catch him, but right now you can catch him absolutely free and live, live, live right here. Make some noise for Mr. Moo Moo himself, Nathan Birkin! Yeah! yeah! It's crazy in here! This is a party? Wow, and I'm gonna do some magic right now. You guys wanna see some magic? Yeah. Hell yeah! I'm gonna attempt one of the world's most dangerous escapes. The microwave of death. Death, death. I got it from Home Depot. David Copperfield was too scared. Chris Angel was too pretty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the microwave of death. Yeah! Wow, my yeah. Moo Moo right over there, my Mr. Moo Moo, Nathan Burton at the Flamingo, killing it more than anybody else. Afternoon show, 4 o'clock, crazy show. And you know what's crazy, Johnny? You are going to do another effect. And once again, we are going to give it to you today only, after the broadcast, completely free at MagicPlace.com. I'll tell you more about that. But first, we got a CGHT's dream. Can we get some girls in here? Let's get some girls. Johnny Cat, come on, Johnny. Dana, come on over here. I want you to see this. We got Johnny Cat, one of the premier writers in Las Vegas. And Dana Rotelli. And Dana. Hi, how are you? And both of them. I go in to watch JT stream, and if they want, they can learn it for free after the broadcast. But right now, we're going to blow their mind. Johnny? Yes, well, let me uh, I'm okay. I think I can talk without that. Okay, great. Okay, can you no, I don't think you're on. Are you on? Okay, yes, I am. Uh, the reason we called the JT stream, this is a dream I had one night. Well, maybe it's more of a magical nightmare because... They can't hear you. Let me put the mic next to you. Oh, okay. Can we put his mic up, please? We got a little technical problem. Can we put the mic up, please? It's on. It's on. Okay. So we're okay. They can hear me. I can't hear yeah. shit. Is yeah. it because I had too many rum and diets? That, that, that's easy for you to say. Okay. Anyway, this is, a, this is a dream I had, or as I said, a magical nightmare. Because in my sleep, I kept seeing the value of a card. And, and the suit of a card, and it kept flashing before me. And so I made up a trick about it, and I think uh, you're going to be the one to help me. What is your name? Okay, Dana. I want you to see all the cards are different, and I'd like you to mix them so they're in random order. All right, now, I'd like you to hold the cards so I can see them, and I want you to spread them out, uh, uh, you know, so I can... Uh, did you cut them, by the way? No, you, you, let me put them on the table and give them a little bit of a cut. Okay, now, now, 
Okay, yeah. And, and just hold them in your hands like this, okay? And, and spread them so I can see them slowly, 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 slowly. Uh, I don't see my card here. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not spread, so that's okay. That's what she said. Yeah. Oh, I, I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, close up the, close up the car. Wait, let me understand this, Johnny. Is this a prediction right here? This is a prediction right here. Do you here. see this? He just made a prediction yes. right on my beautiful table. Now, you shuffled and cut the cards. I'm going to ask you to start dealing them face down onto the table one at a time on top of each other into a pile. And by the way, you can deal from anywhere. You can deal from the middle. You can deal from the bottom. You could drop a, drop a block of cards until you feel like stopping. If I know Dana, she won't stop. Uh, well, that's a good thing. Oh, right there. All right, let me have the rest of the cards, Dana. I'd like you to pick those up and square them up. Okay, and now I'm going to ask you to deal them into two piles. Okay, one here and one here. And keep doing that until you exhaust all the cards. Thank God Dana's not drunk doing this, huh? Yes. Well, wonderful. Okay. Now, I told you I had a dream about a suit and a value. And remember, the cards came from everywhere in the deck. You could have dropped lots of cards, and you shuffled and cut them. This card, if we're lucky, should denote... This should denote the value, and this should denote the suit. That's so you're saying it's a seven of diamonds, Johnny? That's correct, and that's exactly the... Card. Wow! Wow! The legend Johnny Thompson. Thank you. Wow. Now I know my niece Demetra and my brother JD is watching. Lynn is watching right now. Little Angel's watching. And if you want to learn this, okay, go to Magic Place after this broadcast and download the secret to JT's dream by just clicking free JT's dream download. Again, that's free JT JT's dream download. JT's on the <laughs> JT's, JT's yes JT's dream download on the bottom of the main page of MagicPlace.com and you'll get a free just for tonight only. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. All right, now I'm going to Luke and Sean who have some crazy shit going on. What's going on, boys? It is Dandy crazy up in here. Come on, people! Yeah! We are talking magic. We are seeing magic live. We're about to see the Fantasy Girls. That's not magic, but it's definitely very magical. <laughs> Absolutely. This is one hell of a party, Luke. Damn, Skippy, man. And you know what? we got to give the guys a peek. It's something brand new we have coming up very, very soon. We're talking about one. Oh, right on. This is one of my favorite new tricks. This is really, really cool. If I do say so. Bring it on. Let's Thank see. You. Check this out. But it's only called cool, right? Rhyme. Loving it, man. Nice. Loving it. That's awesome. Now, of course, you guys want to win a copy of one, I'm sure, right? One, one person out there. And of course, someone at home. So here's what we're going to do. Back on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Magic Place, we just put up Check the teaser that you just saw, and we want you to go over there and like that video. One random person that likes the video, yeah, come on in. Let's check it out. Click the little like button. It's nothing more than that. Absolutely free. It's your chance right now to win an absolutely free copy of one. And it hasn't even come out yet. So technically, you'll be the only person that even has it. Except for us, of course. <laughs> what do you say, Sean? I say awesome. Loving it, loving it. I like the video at the very least because it makes me feel good. <laughs> well, all right then. All right. So guys, we are now going to go over yeah, to Mr. Yeah. Moo Moo. He, he, he was able to, to like catch his breath after the microwave of dad, dad, dad. So now we're going to throw it back over to Mr. Moo Moo, Nathan Burley! You can't be doing my death, 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 Luke. That's mine. What? Death, death, death. Well, I'm here with a beautiful woman, but she's also a great magician, Kristen Lambert. Give it up for her. 
much fun. Thank you for having me. This has been a blast. I was losing my voice from like screaming so much at everything. All right, so I've been a magician since a little boy. What's it like growing up as a girl, turning into a woman, performing magic? You're in a boys' club, a lot of a lot of guys that are magicians. It's very rare that a girl's in magic. What's it like? Do you feel welcome? Do you, how does it feel? Well, it's, yes and no. I mean, I'm definitely still sort of a, a novelty. There aren't a whole lot of women, but there are more coming up. I constantly get messages from girls who are getting interested in magic, which is so wonderful to see. But it was definitely tough when coming into it, and people didn't really know, oh, what do we do with this girl? Why don't we, you know, it's kind of a little strange, but definitely, you know, I'm here because I love magic. And no matter what anyone else says, sure. that's the point. So does, does it, do you ever show up to a gig and they go, you're the assistant, where's the magician? So you're going to be loading in, with the where's the guy? Oh, Hi. Uh, do you have do you have guy assistants? I have in the past, but mostly I really prefer to work alone. Do the guys ever hit on you while they're working for you? No, typically not. Do you fire them if they hit on you? No, I keep them on a tight leash. Tight leash. That's a magic place okay. exclusive. Yeah, and what do you have coming up? You're you're in a movie, right? That's on Netflix. Yes, Make Believe, which was released last year, is now streaming on Netflix, and you can watch it right. Yeah. yeah! Goodbye, people. Yeah. Yeah. And Lance Burton is here. Here's my last question. All these magicians in the room right now, who is your favorite magician in the room right now? One answer. Johnny Thompson. Wow. Magic Place exclusive. Thank you very much. Now I have another very creative mind in magic I'm going to interview right now. Come on, it's Mr. Andrew May. Give it up for him. Andrew May! I trick that guy. I tricks. I got to admit, I go to iTrix every single day. I see what's going on. I see what shit you're talking about, magicians. I, I, I check in. So tell us about the website. Uh, you know, we wanted to have a website that was kind of like uh, Entertainment Weekly about magic. And so it's great to talk about what you're up to, what Chris is up to. And, you know, magic's big. Magic's got a lot of fans around the world. And we just like to tell everybody what's going on. Now, are there any stories that's too edgy that you want to put on the site? Well, I mean, we have to keep your police record kind of, you know, on the down, though. But that takes happened. a lot of work. But... You know, we uh, we like to focus on the positive. So, and what else? What else? You're a creator of Matt. What's your favorite illusion that you've ever created? Ah, uh, gosh. I mean, close up. One of my favorite effects is my ghost bills effect. That's probably got to be one of it. So, that's my favorite right now. And and where, where? What do you think of this warehouse full of these beautiful women? Oh man! Awesome magicians. Oh, this awesome. is this is forget amazing. It. I'm, I'm forget impressed. Forget about card tricks. And yeah! Forget Matt. No, Let's forget that. I know. I know. To hell with the card tricks. You're I'm ready to you know, change up everything. Look at the girls. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, sure. Right. Okay. So what's your favorite girl? Pick one. I would have to try them out one by one to oh. find out. Okay. Wow. 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 Sure. Good answer. I tricks. You'll see who he picks tomorrow on the website. And we'll have video of that moving? on magicplace.com. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Live right now. Thanks for coming Thanks out. Thanks for having out. me. Have Good. a drink. Yeah. By the way, I want to tell you, I had a great time last night. I went to go see Believe. Oh. Uh -huh. yes. and, and I, you know, it's one of those things where... Being able to see Chris live was awesome because, you know, on TV, you get to see, you get to see on that screen, you see it on stage, and seeing the live interaction, all that was fun. Chris, I was out there right there. Chris, I love the interaction with the audience. I thought it was awesome. It was great. And I just did. What, what was time. your favorite thing in the show? Uh, I don't want to tip. I don't want to ruin anything that's in the show. No, but no, just one thing. What's your favorite thing in the show? Uh, my favorite thing? He did a straight jacket last night, and that was insane. That was I insane. Yeah. That was like crazy stuff like that. I mean, I, it, and it is one of my favorite parts when he has the fan and all the leads are blowing. It's just the visual is amazing. It's oh, a great it was, show. It was and I, I jumped out of my seat at part of it. I'm not going to lie. It was great, wasn't it? I was it? a little scared. Well, and if you're in Vegas, check out Chris Angel's Believe. Great show. And, uh, and these lovely ladies. Woo! Woo! And tell everybody where, where to go. Where's your website? iTricks.com. And when you're not there, magicplace.com. We're like joining like this. The internet is coming closer. We're all brothers. And a lot of sisters. Hey, yes. Hey. A lot of sisters. A lot of lovely sisters. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Make some noise. I don't know where we're going. But who cares? Look at these lovely ladies. Now? Thank you very much. Okay. Well, I'm not sure where we're going next. We're going to the stage. All right, guys. My name is Luke Dancy. What's shaking, guys? I am joined by Luke. Well, these are my angels. These are the boys, the Magic Team boys. We have Mark, Sean, and Jesse. Give it up for the boys. 
Nice, nice. You know, I want to I want to slow things down for just a second. And on a very personal level, I want to give a very special shout out to someone that's not watching, but that's someone that's actually here live watching. Dr. Peoples is in the house. He is one of the most beautiful people I've ever met. Saved my life. And he's an amazing, amazing person. I love you so much, man. Thank you so much. Great. There he is. Show your love. Come on, guys. Do better than that. The man is a magician in his own right. You have no idea the miracles that this guy does every single day. And uh, he's one of the unsung heroes, and we love him to death. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Cool. So now back to the business of the magic stuff and all that good stuff. Of course, one of the things that we're going to be doing very, very soon are live lectures. Now, of course, a lot of other people do it, and we want to do it differently. We want to do it for free. And we want to do it with someone that's never done a lecture before, Jesse Feinberg. Yeah. So Jesse, yeah. Can you hear me? Here, now you can hear me. Okay. Um, this is my first lecture ever. For the first time, I'm going to be teaching my tricks right here. It's the best thing ever, and I can't, I can't wait. You guys are going to be basically be able to learn all the tricks that I've invented. I'm going to take you step by step, and it's going to happen right here. This is really cool. So first time ever, Jesse Feinberg. The MacGyver of Magic, yeah. Jesse can't Feinberg. Wait. Awesome. An amazing creator, an amazing guy, and just a real sweetheart of a guy as well. Of course, next to him, I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Sean Fields, who I've worked with for a while. The Prince of Wind! Thank you very much. Prince of Wind! Tell the guys what's going on with you, man. What's been up with you over the last couple years there, Shawnee? Wow, I've been creating all sorts of great stuff, and you and Chris gave me the opportunity to come and teach it to a wider audience, and we've got some incredible stuff coming out. Kinetica, One. There's a couple more products, but I don't want to talk about them just yet. Yeah, you don't want to say too much. And of course, to my right, Mr. Mark Calabrese. Give it up for Mark and Mark. What's going on, Luke? What's going on, guys? Yes, sir? So, Nothing Mark, a lot much. of people don't know much about you yet, but that's a good thing. You're what we call an underground magician. An I underground like long walks on the beach. True. Uh, dinners. Candlelit dinners. Seinfeld. We love to watch magic, Seinfeld. Magic. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah, so, I mean, I, you know, I've been working with you guys since about April, and I'm well, having a great time. What's your background, Mark? What, what kind of thing... Do you do outside of working with us as a team? What, what's your background with magic? We I, mean, don't I, know. By, I mean, by trade, I'm like a street performer, so I street perform a lot. I, I'm out there, you know, performing for you know the crowds that, you know, would watch me if I had a live show or a good show for that matter. And uh, you know, so I just like doing that. I also uh, I'm a do MMA. I do some mixed martial arts and stuff. So I so don't mess with me. Don't mess with magic. this guy. That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> Ladies, please, ladies, please, right. keep going, keep going. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I mean, you know, but I'm having a great time working with Chris, working with you guys, working right. on the team, and, uh, yeah, it's really fun. Really fun. Well, guys, don't forget also, all the products that we have at MagicPlace.com can be yours. Very, very easy, so simple, and so free. Go to the front page of MagicPlace.com, fill out the Enter to Win free form. It takes about five seconds, and you'll be entered in the drawing, and we're going to announce the winner at the end of the show after our expose performance from Fantasy from the Luxor. <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! Can Hell I win? Yeah. Can I win? Uh-oh, uh-oh! Special uh -oh. guest popping in, Chris Angel. I just wanted to say really, really, really quickly that Mark, Sean, Jesse, and of course my man Luke are the smartest guys I know in Magic, and I'm just blessed to have them on the team. And they're here to help you <laughs> with your Magic career. This is not about selling you a trick. This is about building your career. And, uh... For those magic sites out there that are talking shit, <laughs> I can't do it because uh -oh. you'll sue me for a million bucks. Just take it on with Mark. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. But anyway, I, I have to go shortly for the show, but I'm going to stay here while you do your thing. So do your thing, buddy. Awesome, man. Thank you, Chris. Give it up for Chris Angel! Woo! In the house, guys! Wow. This is absolutely amazing. And that's, that's the other great thing. You know what? Chris is here. We're going to sweeten the pot, okay? We're going to sweeten the pot now because we're here. We're actually going to give away every MagicPlace.com product. Wait a product second. And every Magic product every. from MagicPlace.com. You're going to give away to one lucky winner, you're saying? And two tickets to Believe. Woo! The number one best-selling Magic show in the world. Can I win? Can I win this? Is this going to happen? Okay, you As a matter win. of fact, I'm so happy to hear Tom Rattan just told me because we get the ticket counts. We are sold out for both shows tonight. Right Woo! Yeah! Hell yeah. Who was the luck? So if you guys come to Vegas, you got to see Chris Angel Believe. An amazing, amazing, amazing Magic show. We love it. And uh, I think I've seen it a time or two. 
<laughs> yeah, so all the, all the other the magic shows here in town that are talking all the hate, don't hate. We're just kicking your ass. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> wow. So, Chris, we should also tell the guys about the other awesome thing that we're doing now, the Magic Web. Yeah, Magic Web's great. Well, the Magic Web is unbelievable because it gives you an opportunity, whether you're a close-up artist doing cardistry, sleight of hand, or you have an original effect, and you want to collect more money for your effect than any other site in the world, we're going to pay you. I'm going to pay you 70%. Unprecedented. That is no more money than any magic site in the world. We're going to pay you 70%. Seven zero. Seven zero. Seven zero percent. Holy crap. Every month, every year, as long as we're selling your, your, your effect on our website. And that is yeah. more money than anybody. And I'm, Woo! I'm doing it because you know what? I want to elevate the art of magic. It's not about the money for me. I don't need to do this to make money, okay? I want you to make money. I want magic, who is, which has blessed my life, to be able to thrive. And I want it to garner the respect that it deserves in this world of entertainment, especially in Vegas. Your magic is considered like a novelty, a hokey novelty. It's not. It's an amazing, amazing art that blessed my life, blessed all our lives, and we want it to bless your life. Absolutely. 70% Absolutely. Magic, magic Web. web. Woo! Banner, the white banner, right, right there. We're going to show you guys that in just a minute, but first, we want to give you guys a peek at two of the brand new effects that are going to be on the Magic Wire right now. It's actually the Magic Web right now, online. Check it out. Go there and watch now. This is the shift change from Baltimore to Story. That is one of the brand new effects from the that Magic Web. Terrific. That yeah. is one of the many things we got going on. Of course, we have another one. That's a little bit of an intermediate type of effect, but we have another one. This one's from Cody Nottingham. This is called Sugar, and we're actually going to give you a live performance of this from Mark Calabrese right after you check out the demo. So let's check out Cody doing it first, and we're going to have you guys check it out live. Hey, guys. I'm Cody Nottingham. I'm going to show you an effect called Sugar. Sugar is a coin to sugar packet effect. It's my take on the plot. And let me show you what the performance looks like. It uses a sugar packet as well as a signed coin. Another great effect from the Magic Web. Yeah, that's the social magic community we're putting together. And uh, actually, Chris, it's like he's, what's he, is you playing matchmaker here? What are you no, doing? No, check this out. Sheila, the beautiful Sheila here, is in Believe each and every night. She's an amazing, amazing talented performer. She's also going to be featured on The Buzz with Luke Dancy, Sean Fields, Jesse Feinberg, and of course, Mark Calabrese coming up in a couple of weeks. But right now, we have a proposal from David. David said this. Sheila, if you marry me, I will get a tattoo of your name on my chest with the heart saying, I love you. What is going on in here? Wow. What? Do what? He, he is 18, but you know what? I think he will settle for a wet kiss. Yeah! I think Sheila... Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> Give it up for Sheila and David, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. We wow. are crashing the party here. <laughs> wow. This wasn't expected. No idea. But go ahead, on. Luke. Fill in what you want to fill I, in. I, I think we're back to magic tricks or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the 495 is how much those tricks cost. Not that it cares anymore. And uh, we're doing, talking about the magic web, which is 70%. And uh, we're going to do, do sugar now. Uh, yeah, and we're going to, you know what? Oh, we're Mark, just, you're going to perform sugar. We this just is a great effect. Uh, sweet kiss from uh, Sheila to David. Let's see a sweet trick. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. All right, check it out. 
Sign quarter. I don't know if you can see the signature there, but there's a sign signature. Right? Pop right in. Whoa. The sugar packet is sealed on all sides. You can see that? It'll rip it open so you can see. Right, no look. way. Look, 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 look. Oh. Inside oh. there. Oh. No! Yes! Come on, that's incredible. Wow. Wait a second. That Wait a second. Unbelievable. Wait a second. Hold on a second. You should get a kiss that, that was a sign quarter that you can have anybody sign and then instantly Anybody's it penetrates fine. the sugar packet. It'll penetrate the sugar packet. And how much is it, Mark? Four ninety-five. Right that now, ridiculous. exclusively at MagicPlace.com. What a brilliant minutes. effect. You can do that anywhere, huh? You can bar the quarter, take any sugar packet, snap it in, and you're good to go. That's a hell of a trick for five crazy. bucks. Five you're bucks. It's crazy, man. That's crazy. Absolutely. So, guys, don't forget, once again, we have Chris on stage. Don't forget, we just threw in two tickets to Believe as part of our contest. So go to the front page of MagicPlace.com. Enter the form right there. There's like three forms, your name, your email, and I think your last name. And you, you'll be entered, and we're going to choose the winner at the end of the show. Once again, don't forget, the Fantasy Girls are coming up. Whoa, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Not, Not only can you win each and every trick that Magic Place puts out, but you have the chance to win an amazing opportunity to come to Las Vegas completely free. I'm talking about airfare, hotel at the Luxor. I'm talking yeah. about dinner at the steakhouse with me. Awesome. You're going to see shows like the number one best-selling afternoon show, Nathan Burton, of course, David Copperfield, Carrot Top, the funniest guy in Las Vegas, and Emwa. Nice. Me, yours truly, we'll hang, we'll hang out, VIP meet and greets with all of us. This is a contest never given by any site, by anything, and you have the chance to enter it and win it completely free. You don't have to buy a thing. Just go to magicplace.com after the broadcast and join. Or enter, I should say. Absolutely enter. crazy. Enter. And it's, you know what the crazy part is? It's all free. Free. Stupid. Free, free, free. free. I don't need the money, man. All free, all free, all free. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Actually, you know what? I'm going to walk over to Brian right quick. I'm going to bring my boy here with me. We're going to go to Brian. We're going to announce the winner for the free copy of one. And also show you guys how to do the magic web stuff as well. So... We have a winner, and it's Nick Papa. He is one of the best up-and-coming card industry workers that I've seen. He's awesome. He's a great kid. He does a lot for Magic Place. He was one of the first ones to like the post, and he shared it on Facebook as well. You guys, give it up for Nick Papa, the winner of one. Our brand Nick new Nick Papa! And also, Nick guys, Popper. He, what is that value, that Luke? That's something crazy, isn't uh, that? 25 How much? bucks. 20, huh? uh, a one is twenty four ninety five. That's only on that. That, yeah. That's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, and that's actually, free. guys, too. If you want to submit something to the Magic Web, let's show them right now. Not only is it twenty four ninety five in value, it hasn't been released yet. So Nick will be the first person outside of our team to get that product. That's Hi. amazing. Absolutely. Amazing. And if you guys do want to submit something to our Magic Web, because that's what we've been talking about, let's jump back over to the Magic Place page. Now, it looks a little different right now because we are broadcasting live. But at the top, if you click on the Magic, if you go to All Magic and click on the words Magic Web right there, click on that, and it'll take you right to our Magic Web page. It shows you the effects we currently have for sale. And if you click the white banner right there, the white Magic Web banner, it'll take you to our Terms and Conditions page. And it'll give you a submission form that you can fill out. And we will take a look at your effect. If it's original and we like it, you know what? We're going to sell it. And we might have you here joining us on stage as well. So, guys, we got a lot of great stuff going on. And once again, let's give it up to the guys, the Magic Team guys, and yeah. Chris Angel himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Luke. Thank you. Luke, people can watch a video that Jesse just cut so they know how to enter. That's right. That's absolutely right. They can go onto the Magic Web. And very, very shortly, we're going to have the video showing you exactly how to make a video that's going to fit absolutely perfect for the website. But right now, I think we have uh, Nathan Burton getting the Fantasy Girls warmed up backstage. Uh, wow. I think we should, uh, right. let's, let's go. go to Nathan Burton right now. Momo, what are you doing, man? I Chris gave me all access. The viewers want to know we're going backstage to interview the world-famous Fantasy Girls currently appearing at the Luxor. Come on. This is all access. Come on, guys. We're going backstage. They're getting... Ladies, are you guys ready to perform? Whoa, whoa, there, wait, ladies, no, no, I'm a magician. No, no, I'm like family. I, no, we're like brother, sister. Fantasy, whoa, 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 why are you pushing me? The fantasy girls are coming up next. Uh, Nathan, come on, stop cock blocking all of us over there, jeez. Stu Stone here live, live, live. Is everybody having a good time or what? This has been 
quite an amazing event. Again, if you missed any of it, there will be a rebroadcast today, tonight, depending on where you live, maybe tomorrow. Uh, it is going to be incredible. Of course, next is coming up. Next, that's also live. The live experience does not stop. Speaking of live experiences, this young lady right here, Sunny, Chris's biggest loyal fan, decided she was going to come here and get meh tattooed on her, and it looks like the tattoo is finished. Round of applause. Uh, Billy Carter of Envy Tattoo. Uh, that was a fantastic job right there, man. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. If anybody wants to get tattooed by you, uh, other than meh, I understand you do some other designs. How can they find you? Over at uh, Nellis and DI, Envy Tattoos. That's where you find the man. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. Are you happy with your... Maybe Chris, come on in here. This is your biggest loyal. Look at she just got the tattoo. How about that? Aww. Ah. Now, Sonny is from Germany and has been incredibly supportive. And you said that you were willing to get the tattoo. And let me tell you something. There are loyals all over the world that have l literally put body ink on them in my honor and it just blows my mind that somebody would do that so I want to say sincerely from my heart thank you for being a loyal thank you for your dedication because without people like you I wouldn't be able to do this thank you so much yeah awesome. unbelievable awesome man unbelievable Chris Angel everybody come on Chris Angel hey, you want to again a live picture right here so for Twitter we do everything in real time. Chris Hold Angel up your Twitter. Tattoo. There it is. Yeah. And, and where do you follow me at? At Twitter, baby. Follow Chris Angel at Twitter. So at Twitter, <laughs> right? Twitter at Chris Angel. That would be at Chris Angel on Twitter. Yep. <laughs> and I know a couple. Einstein, Time Fear. That's all I know in German. That's it. That's all I know. What do you know, Stu? Holy Scheisen. What a <laughs> tattoo she just got right here. This is. Wow. That's pretty, that's pretty detailed right there, man. <laughs> Crazy, isn't that? And, and people, yeah! I know the skeptics out there, too, that are going to be like, oh, that's not a real tattoo that will rub off. No, that's real. That's the that real deal. That is totally real. That is totally real on my mom, on Johnny Thompson, on everybody. That is real. That is not BS. That's what? commitment right there. Oh, look at what's going on over yeah, here with Fielding of, West. Speaking Holy of commitment, I'm ready to make is, a... She is, like, basically naked I'm, almost. I'm ready to make a commitment to one of these ladies right here. Uh, uh, we have uh, the... What's going on here, guys? Three aces. Listen to me. you got to understand that when I do this kind of stuff... What's going on here? He's cheating. He's got eight things over here. That was not part of... That was not... No, I have nothing in my coat. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah! I, not everybody likes magic. <laughs> oh, some things I didn't want to see today. This is one of those things. <laughs> Jesus, man, put some clothes on. <laughs> well, how about that? I did pretty good so far, didn't I? You, it, you, might, you might still have a chance. You might want to chase after that. By the way, I just want to say to the German gal... Her tattoo is their prima. Oh, very nice. Very impressive. There you go. Yeah! Uh, unbelievable. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's been great. We had a tattoo live, live, live on the show. We had some strip poker. We have a dirty old man here. <laughs> it's Mr. Dirty Old Man to you. Fair enough. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, Thank man. You, Thank you. Uh, I'm going to send it over to the MagicPlace.com team once again. Uh, apparently, they're ready to do some live magic. Uh, speaking of pencils, uh, they're going <laughs> to they're going to do a It's a little bit bigger than yours, sir. Uh, we're going to send it over to Luke Dancy, Sean Fields, Jesse Feinberg, Mark Calabrese. Take it away, boys. One second, guys. We are here at the close-up table with the lovely ladies. I got Mark Calabrese, Fantastic. Sean Fields, and Jesse Feinberg. What's shaking, guys? What's going on? What's up? Hi. Wow. Hey. All right, so guys, one of the friends of the Magic Place team wasn't able to be here. We're talking about Tony Clark, but Tony sent us a quick video saying hello. So let's say hello to Tony Clark right now. Hey, Chris, Tony Clark here. Sorry I can't be at the uh, Magic Place party, but I'm very excited about the release of Risen. 
I think it's going to be one of the hottest new utility car devices out there. So have a good time at the party, and uh, I'll see you soon. Tony Clark, one of our Woo! favorite people in Magic. Tony's an unbelievable guy. And uh, he actually mentioned something about a brand new release we have coming up over the next couple months. We're talking about Risen. And uh, I know, Sean, we had a lot of fun with Risen. Yeah, this is an amazing effect, and there's so much you can do with it, too. You know what? Let's take a look at the trailer for Risen right now to show you what it's all about, and then we'll come back and show you some more live magic. Stay tuned. I love that kind of stuff, man. Visual magic, what it's all about, right? Absolutely. That is so visual. Love visual card magic. I know, Mark, you do a lot of that great stuff, I use too, that, man. I use the utility device all the time. Risen is, like, in my back pocket always. I always use it. It's great. great. Absolutely. And talking about visual magic, we've got a brand new effect that's not even released yet, and it won't be released for a little while, but we're going to give you a little sneak peek. This is Jesse Feinberg using a pencil and a bill. Woo! All right, cool. This is cool. All right, I got something to show you guys. This is, uh, this is really cool. Pencil and a bill. Um, there's a soft spot. Here, come in close. You can see there's like a little spot in the bill. You just give it a little push. It goes wow, up. man. Ah. Just like that. Now, Shit. see if I can uh, fix this bill here. Just give it a little pull. Ooh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there wait, it is. Wait, there wait, it is. Wait. Wow. Oh, yeah. 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 Woo! What do you guys think? What do you guys think? That was awesome. Amazing and awesome. It's awesome stuff going on here, guys. And uh, this has you know, been so much fun, but not only are we talking about magic effects, we've also got something else brand new coming out. Two words, Delph Thread. Oh, Mark Calabrese, tell me a little bit about that. This thread is ridiculous. A lot of other uh, threads out there claim to say that they can lift up a deck of cards. Well, our thread, Stealth Thread, actually lifts up to nine deck of, deck of cards. I mean, I've only I've done up to nine, so I can only imagine how much more is left. It's the strongest thread in all of magic. In all the world. It's the strongest thread, most invisible. It's ridiculous, right? Ridiculous? Ridiculous, is that the word? Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty nuts. All right, so yeah, we, yeah, not only are we doing great effects, we're working with great people, we have great, you know, just everything Everything we're doing, we're trying to push the envelope further and further to be the best at what we do and try to offer the most stuff. Not only at great prices, but free. Uh, the free giveaway as well. Go to the front page one more time, magicplace.com, and fill out the Enter to Win free form right now. Because after we see the Fantasy Girls from the Lux Store coming up in just a minute, we're going to announce that winner for Stay Tuned for that. But right now, straight from the Lux Store, here come the beautiful Fantasy Girls. Woo! Give you all I got tonight. I'm getting hot when you see me dance in the beat drop. I 
Because Stick Cam wouldn't let us. But oh. in their live show, they reveal all. So you gotta check it out. Give it up for the beautiful fantasy yeah, Alex Nice, nice, nice. That oh. was incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have been advertising a grand prize winner all show long, and it is time to make our announcement of who the big winner is that's going to win every single magic trick that they saw on this broadcast. And you know what's interesting is I have to be on stage in seven minutes. <laughs> I have a sold out audience. But you know what? I'm here for you, so yeah. I'm staying here yeah. to hear who the winner is. What do you think of that? Yeah, give all it right. up for Sage. Come on, come on. It is time to find out who you, the winner is. Can we get a drum roll, please? Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. And the winner is... Drum roll! The winner is Dan Kramer from Amazing Machio. Dan Kramer! Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations! Yeah. 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 Dan Kramer! Dan Kramer! And the upside signed by everybody. Incredible! Absolutely incredible. Remember, wow. if you missed any of tonight's show, Dan there is Kramer, wait a second. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Dan Kramer just won every single item that we sell at MagicPlace.com. Yeah! Oh, unbelievable. Woo! Man. That is unbelievable. And Dave Barham, if you're watching, I know you think I'm crazy, but we're doing it. We are doing it, literally. <laughs> this has been one of the greatest live experiences I've ever been a part of. We are making web history. Every single time Chris Angel decides to do something like this, everybody make some noise for the man himself, Chris Angel. Chris Angel! Yeah. Yeah. Funny. Funny. And let, oh, let me explain something to you. No one man wins a war. It takes an army, and I got the best army in the world, and I God bless every single person that helped make this possible in such a short amount of time. But most of all, thank God and thank you for allowing this to happen. Absolutely. Definitely. All the way from Germany, we had Sonny. Tell us what you thought about this live experience. You came thousands of miles to be here. What did you think of this, Sonny? It was fucking amazing. It was oh. mad. I guess you can say amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess that word translates in every. Your English is amazing, Sonny. <laughs> Uh, again, if Chris, I gotta remind everybody, if you miss any of the action, if you miss these ladies, if you wow. miss the strip poker, if As you miss Flavor, Flavor, Flavor Flav, 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 wow. Carrot Top, Lance Burton, all the excitement. Chris's Angels! Oh, hell Chris's yeah! Angels. Yeah, give it up for Sheila! Yeah. Uh, you'll get a chance to watch that all. There's a replay. Of course, the live action does not stop here. Luke's gonna be doing a show with Brian right after this called Next. Next it's gonna be live, right. live, live, live. A lot yeah. of great interviews coming up. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, Chris, don't forget, you can follow Chris Angel on Twitter as well. Yeah, at Chris Angel. And absolutely, and the 28th of July, we are doing a loyal Saturday, and we are kicking off a new show called Success with my man, the host, Stu Stone! Stu Stone! Yeah! And if you think you have talent, if you think you have talent, I don't care what the talent is. Bring it on, because you know what? You can win the grand prize right here in Las Vegas to open up for me at the Luxor. Believe show, number one magic show in the world. Wow. And you wow. can open up for me. I love you it, man. You can open up for love me. It. It's amazing. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited about that. Luke, the rest of the magic team, Chris, everybody, are you ready for a big balloon drop? 
Let's do it! Yeah! Yeah! Good night, everybody! Yeah! Here they come! Yeah! 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 Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Come on up here, Magic Eyes! Come on up! Yeah! yeah! Thank you to all that made this possible. Watch the credits right now. Here they are.